to 5-5 day 3, finding complex zeros of quadratic functions. So, first of all, what are complex zeros? Complex zeros are x-intercepts of a function that will be imaginary. So we'll have um, the x-intercepts would be like the square root of negative 3, something like that. So in order to find the complex zeros of a quadratic Equate, uh, quadratic function, we are going to use completing the square to solve. So we're going to look back at our steps we took to complete the square. What I want you to remember that the leading coefficient, so a, must be equal to a positive 1. So the first thing you're going to do is set the equation equal to zero. If the leading coefficient is not equal to positive one, divide it out. Then you move the constant term to the other side and write the equation in the form x squared plus bx plus blank equals blank minus c. The next thing we would do is to fill in those blanks with b over 2 squared. Then we're going to factor the left side and clean up the right side and then solve the remaining equation by undoing. So let's go through and practice that. So it says find the zeros of the function. So what we want to do is set 0 equal to x squared minus 2x plus 5. Now we subtract 5 to get negative 5 plus blank equals x squared minus 2x plus blank. So now it's our job to fill in the blank with b over 2 squared. Our b is equal to negative 2, so we have negative 2 over 2 squared, which equals negative 1 squared which is the same thing as 1. So what we're doing is we're adding 1 to both sides. Now let's clean up the left side. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And that's equal to, so x squared minus 2x plus 1. We're going to factor it so that it multiplies to positive 1 and it adds to negative 2. So we have 1 times 1, negative 1 times negative 1 equals a positive 1. And negative 1 plus negative 1 equals that negative 2. So what we really have over here is x minus 1 squared. Now we solve by undoing. So we undo this squaring. So we have the square root of negative 4 equals x minus 1. Now, if you'll remember, the, we're going to split this up, the square root of negative 4. We can say this is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. So the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2, and the square root of negative 1 is i. So we really have x minus 1 equals plus or minus 2i. Now we can add 1 to both sides to get our final answer of x is equal to 1 plus or minus 2i. So our second problem like this says solve the equation. So the first thing I want to do is make sure all of our terms are on the right hand side. We have 0 equals so what we're doing is we're adding 4x to both sides. 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 13. But now we want to minus the 13 to both sides. Minus 13, minus 13. We have negative 13 plus that blank equals x squared plus 4x plus blank. And again, we fill in that blank with b over 2 squared. 
and our b in this case is going to be a positive 4. So we have 4 over 2 squared, which is the same thing as saying 2 squared, which is 4. So what we're really doing is adding 4 to both sides. Now let's clean up the left-hand side. So we have negative 9 equals, and then we'll make that t-chart over here. It has to multiply to 4 and add to 4. That would be 2 and 2. So we have x plus 2 squared. Now we're going to solve by undoing, so we're square rooting both sides. So we have the square root of negative 9 equals x plus 2. And again, we're going to break up that negative 9 negative square root of 9, to the square root of negative 1, times the square root of 9. So the square root of 9 we know is plus or minus 3, and the square root of negative 1 is i. So we have x plus 1, or x plus 2, sorry, x plus 2 equals plus or minus 3i. To get x by itself, we subtract 2. And we get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 3i.